Good afternoon, you're with me, Tonema Biswas, in our top story. Central trade unions from across the country have announced a two-day strike starting today. Sectors like telecom, health, education, coal, steel, electricity, banking, insurance and transport are likely to be hit most adversely. As part of the workers' strike, protest marches have been organized at various places. Trade unions are protesting against what they term as the government's anti-worker policies and unilateral labor reforms. See, that there should be some steps should be taken to fight against Hartal, Band, whatever it is. And it, I am only telling you, it is only in Kerala, especially only Kerala. And other states are it is not, not affected. Many, many states are functioning very well. As far as possible, we should avoid Hartal because it affects the common man, common, uh, see, the progress of the country. I'm joined by my colleague Neha Kulkarni, who's reporting from Mumbai. Neha, take us through the the impact that you can see on the streets of Mumbai. Right. So uh, by around 12 p.m. we are seeing as many as 8,000 workers from across Mumbai who are supporting the strike uh, for Central Trade Union and various other employee associations have gathered here at Azad Maidan. There is a strong police protection posted outside just to ensure that the matters uh, do not get out of control. Uh, the employees have told us that they plan to remain on strike for today and tomorrow. There are loud protests, loud uh, the sloganeering going on about why they are trying to protest why they are up in arms against the government demanding their rights. We are joined here by the Secretary of Maharashtra Bank Employee Association. Sir, tell us, this uh, strike is about what are your concerns and what is going to be your demands? Banking industry, in banking industry, All India Bank Employees Association and Bank Employees Federation of India, around uh, membership from 21 public sector banks, 6 old generation private sector bank and 6 foreign bank, they are on strike. They are mainly on strike with the demand for recruitment, adequate recruitment in the banking sector. Lot of jobs are being outsourced, which are of daily routine. Or contractual employees are being resorted to by the banks. We are opposed to it. Secondly, we are opposed to the disinvestment which is being done by the government. Government slowly is trying to privatize the public sector banks. We as a union, we are opposed to it. Thirdly, we are opposed to the bank consolidation. The way in which government has bulldozed the decision of merger of Vijaya Bank, Dena Bank and Bank of Badoda, we are opposed to it. More than that, what we observe that all policies which are being implemented by the government, they are anti-people and we are concerned on that. What we observe that more than 10 lakh crores NPA are there in the banks and the burden of NPA is being passed on to the common citizens of this country. They have increased the service charges. Almost all banks have increased the service charges. They have reduced the interest rate on saving bank deposits where common man keeps the deposits. We are with the common man. We are with the general working class. We have our own demands. Keeping it in mind, today and tomorrow, around 4 lakh bank employees from the India and in, from Maharashtra, around employees working more than 6,000 branches, around 30,000 employees are on strike. Maharashtra Grameen Bank employees and Vidarbha Grameen Bank employees also are on strike. Kolhapur District Central Cooperative Bank employees, they also are on strike. This uh -huh. strike is a total and almost except State Bank of India and Indian Overseas Bank, almost entire banking is at halt. So one more thing, apart from banks, other unions have also supported the strike, we are being told. Tell us about those. Who else is supporting? Yeah. Today, along with bank, Two major unions from insurance, LIC and GIC, they are on strike. Post, Telegraph, Telephone, Dock and Port and Dock workers, uh, transport workers, almost entire organized and unorganized workforce, barring few exception of Bharatiya Mazdur Sangh, which is an outfit of the ruling class. Entire working class today is on the streets, today is on the roads. They are challenging the government, they are challenging the policies of this government. Thus, this strike is a historic strike in the, uh, which have taken place in the recent past. So as claimed to be an historic strike because almost entire working yeah, class yeah, is supporting yeah, them, yeah, we'll get you more updates. Yeah, right, Neha, thank you so much for joining us with that live update. And protests in some parts of West Bengal turned violent. 
in Asansol, a state transport bus was vandalized, while Jadavpur momentarily turned into a war zone after CPM workers clashed with the police. CPM MLA Sujan Chakrabarti, who was leading the protest, has taken into has been taken into preventive custody along with his support protesters. I'm joined by Sriyashi, who's been tracking the developments in Bengal. Sriyashi, take us through the details. There's been a lot of violence which we are seeing being reported from Bengal uh, due to this bunt. Well, you have to realize that the left uh, is still uh, kind of present here in the state, the, which was uh, one, once a ruling party here in West Bengal. So there have been sporadic instances of violences which have been reported from various districts, specifically specifically Asansol and Durgapur area where there have been rail rokos and uh, government buses which have been vandalized by the protesters. However, in Kolkata, earlier in the morning, there were instances of uh, violence that was reported, reported from Jadavpur area and uh, parts of Damdam Dam where the uh, uh, metro station and there is a railway station there. But uh, if we talk about Kolkata, uh, life seems to be normal here because the state government, of course, has said that they will not be supporting the left in the Bund. The roads are comparatively emptier. The buses are also fewer in numbers. But the state government has said that they are making all uh, possible uh, uh, replacements of buses that are plying, extra buses will be plying on the road. And if, in case there is any harm to anyone's life or property, the state government will compensate, making sure that people do not sit at home and do not support this uh, trade union ban that has been called. The state government has also issued a notice to all its uh, officers all the government offices here in West Bengal are running today and they've been asked to come in full attendance. So Mamta Banerjee government, they're clearly not supporting this uh, band called by the left. Though there have been instances of uh, sporadic violence that has been reported in certain pockets of the city, but majorly in the district areas of West Bengal, nothing massive reported from the city. However, life is normal. People are going to their workplaces. Children, however, have been cautioned if their parents feel it's fine for them to come to school, then they are, uh, the schools are open, they can go to school. So uh, it's up to the uh, guardians, basically, if they want to send their wards to school or not. But here in Kolkata, as you, as you can see, uh, my uh, video journalist Abhijit is showing, roads are uh, uh, completely empty for traffic. People are going to work. The uh, state government buses as well as private buses are plying uh, just regularly here on the streets. Uh, life seems to be normal here in the city. Right, Sriyoshi. Some sporadic instances of violence, but life in Kolkata is in uh, operating normally for most people. Thank you so much for bringing us that update. Karnataka is also expected to be one of the worst hit by the trade union strike. Schools and colleges are shut and state transport services are likely to join the Bund. Banking services are also likely to be affected. However, State Bank of India has confirmed that operations will continue as usual.